Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Some Space Games. We are here with Imperion Galactic Survival, which is a early access game that is currently having a free weekend on Steam, and so I'm just trying it out for free to see whether I would like to purchase it. This is a first impression sort of video. And Imperion is sort of in the same vein as No Man's Sky, which is coming out in June. Uh, but of course it's uh, a lot more affordable for me, frankly. It's uh, on sale for 10 bucks on Steam, so it, uh, it is very attractive and has a lot of features. So let me uh, get started here. It is in early access, so uh, take that as you may. I'm gonna just call this first, first, not fist, sorry, first try. Sorry, my keyboard is a little bit offset for me right now. Okay, uh, game mode survival or creative. So survival, we must collect resources, fight enemies, manage hunger and oxygen. Creative, we build freely. So this is sort of like a Minecraft sort of deal here because we got a seed here as well. I'm going to randomly generate a seed. And uh, we have these two modes, very familiar to Minecrafters, I'm sure. Or if you played Space Engineers. Um, uh, so we get to pick from Akua, which is an easy or medium sort of situation, or a desert planet Omicron, which is hard. I better go with easy or medium to start off with. Akua has a mild temperature and a, lo a relatively low gravity compared to Earth. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. Uh, we seem to be in a pod. Okay, we have to steer our pod to a safe thing. Now, I don't think it has joy- no, it doesn't have joystick input. Um, well, so what, what do we define as safe, exactly? Because, uh, I can't really turn my camera, either. Uh, I, I can go way down. Yeah, I, I think this is better. Uh, trying to get over those, those mountains was not working right. I think, uh, these trees look fine, maybe. I don't know. Uh, do I get parachutes? Parachutes? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently no parachutes. Okay, uh, press T to leave the escape pod. Important, take all your equipment with you because the escape pod will vanish. Um... Okay, what equipment? Okay, how do I look around here? Uh, save, inventory, map... Okay, that's settings. Rotate up, rotate down. <laughs> There's, there's some wildlife back there. There's some wildlife. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to move the mouse and I'm not looking. The arrow keys don't seem to do anything either. So if I had a way of checking whether I could get some equipment, I don't see how that is. Well, let me just leave the escape pod. Okay, now I have mouse look, so that's good. But apparently, if I had any equipment that I was supposed to get, I don't have a way of getting it. Nope. Well, I guess I can access... Oh, now we can access the skate pod. Okay, good. Well, that... Well, okay, that's fine. Uh, can we... Can we transfer all the things? I don't suppose control A is gonna work. Um, does this button actually... Okay, that does. Okay, good. Uh, Alright, uh, let's go through. Flashlight, projectile pistol, 50 caliber rounds, uh, drill, a drill charge, filler and flatten tool, F and F charge, uh, I guess that's for filler and flatten, two small medikits, one antidote pill, four emergency rations, two purified water, five small oxygen bottles, 200 silicon ingots, Wow, they, they really stock up these uh, escape pods, don't they? 300 copper ingots, 350 iron ingots, 175 cobalt ingots. I mean, I would never have thought to put uh, cobalt in an uh, escape pod. 50 magnesium powder, 350 promethium pellets. Uh, at some point I would like uh, to try a save where they don't give us these resources, these in particular. Um, five fuel packs, one work light. More oxygen bottle, oxygen generator, one survival constructor, the pod's gone away by the way, one core, two growing plots, 
one plant grow light, one tomato sprout, one wheat sprout, one corn sprout, one pumpkin sprout, one pure thing sprout, one durian sprout. I don't like durian. Chainsaw, biofuel. Okay. Um, do we get go into third person mode at all? Wow. Okay, gone all Jurassic here. There does not seem to... Well, it says place survival constructor. Okay. So, I for inventory. Apparently that's me. Okay. Well, the internet's no help, but I think if I recall from my space engineers, if I do this, maybe it'll work. Let's see. Okay. Alright, so it's like that. See, now the thing is, it's sort of relying on people knowing about Minecraft or knowing about space engineers to know how to do that. Incidentally, there was nothing online to help me, so... Uh, I, I'm not a big Minecraft person, nor a big space engineers person, so it didn't exactly come to me immediately. Anyway, we have our survival constructor placed. I guess I must brush up on my my Minecraft or Space Engineers knowledge in order to play all other games, but alright. Add crafting materials. Okay, we use Constructor. Uh, let's dump all the crafting materials. No reason for me to be uh, keeping them on myself. Okay, yes, we have successfully added crafting materials. What's next? Add fuel pack templates. Well, that's a fuel pack. Templates... Oh, I guess I just applied a template here. I'll take the fuel packs. Fuel pack template is selected, and I can start production. So I guess these fuel packs are an important thing for us. Fuel value 30, mass 50 kilograms, and this is under normal gravity. Okay, constructor on. Okay, we have started production of fuel packs. I don't know how many we need. Place O2 generation generator and power O2 generator. Okay. So, O2 generator. And then, I guess to power it, we would... Uh, whoa. Okay. Oh. Uh, back off. Um, sure, why not? Okay. Well, we've definitely placed it. I don't know why it hasn't got a check mark. Uh, energy items. Fuel packs, maybe? I don't know why our oxygen supply is going down when we're on a planet with oxygen, but... Okay. Yeah, okay, access O2 generator, place O2 generator. I, I placed the O2 generator, it's not giving me a check mark. Well, heck, let me place a core as well. Well, let's, uh, let's get all our ducks in a row, I suppose. But apparently it doesn't like being here, it's red. Oh, it can't be placed on terrain, okay. Okay, tech trees. Small fuel tank, small O2 tank. Those are the things, oh, and food processor, clone chamber, small generator, light. Those are things, okay. Well, let's see, um, we need to definitely power the O2 generator. So, is there a way to build a power generator? Okay, construction queue. We got two of these fuel packs. I don't know why we got two and only two. But small generator. Twelve metal components, two capacitor devices. Uh, I can get twelve metal components. But capacitor devices? Needs three electronics, three cables, five metal components. Okay, uh, and we need how many of those? two capacitor devices. So we need ten more metal components. We need six cables. 
And we need six electronics. Okay, next component. One reactor core. Now we're chopping. One motor. Oh, let me guess. I have to build the motor first. Yep. Two metal components. One, two. Three cables. One, two, three. And one electronic. Okay. So, that's for the motor. Then, three pipes. And each pipe needs two metal plates. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, just to get started here, we'll probably need all this stuff. I don't know. Well, actually, they're not di disappearing quite fast. Alright, three cables. Alright, well, I think we've got everything. Nothing has finished. It's going to take a while. And uh, apparently, we only have three hours of oxygen. Can we, like, take off our helmet? Because I'm pretty sure that there's oxygen outside. Helmet, you. Okay. You. Okay, now my helmet is off, but my oxygen supply is still going down. I'm still not sure about what to do with the fuel packs and the energy items. I don't have any. I've placed the O2 generator, it doesn't recognize that I've placed an O2 generator. Uh, should I. I can't pick up the O2 generator anymore, can I? Apparently not. Okay, so no. Well, they uh, have the ability to upgrade your armor. That's sort of nice. This is rather bulky, actually, even for a spacesuit. Food, health is fine. Food is not. Maybe I should make some sprouts. Hey, uh, growing plot. Okay, uh, let me place a growing plot. So this is not quite the space game I was expecting. Uh, well, I mean, I, at least I don't have a spaceship yet. I thought I would have a spaceship somewhere, but looks like we're a long way off from that. It looks like for a growing plot, I need something. Where, why can't I place it here? On terrain. Really? I mean, you would think that a growing plot is something you would put on terrain, but apparently not. Okay. That is not where we put that. But, uh, filler and flatten tool, filling up terrain, or flattening terrain. Maybe that's what we need. Okay. Oh! Gotta create a parking lot out of this place. Okay, um, I don't know, is this better for... Nope. Nope, this is not what we need. This is still terrain. Hmm... I could just plant them in the ground, maybe? I doubt it. Yep. We can't plant it in the ground. Right. So, how are things going with our... Well, let me change view. Our constructor. Almost done. How many capacitor devices do we need? So eventually we would have to build our own spaceship, I guess. It's gonna take a while. As far as trying this game out for, for a short amount of time, it looks like I need food, huh? Well, projectile pistol it is. Don't have too many rounds. I guess I might as well equip the drill as well. Oh, uh, it looks like that's not oxygen supply. Maybe it's time till sundown. I guess it's only an hour... Yeah, oxygen supply is just referring to the place O2 generator and power O2 generator. The little icon with the timer means that we've only got an hour till sunset. And who knows what happens at sunset. Now, do I really want to shoot the wildlife? 
Well, we get XP for it, so apparently. I don't know what the range of my weapon is. Oh, well, that guy definitely ran away. And even though this place was teeming with a lot wildlife before, they've all gone somewhere else. Oh, uh, pick up cobra leaves. I hope those are edible. Man, that, uh, that dinosaur there, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know if I can take it down. I think it would probably spear me with its horns. Well. Yeah, I think, uh, how do you reload this thing? Okay, we have messed with dinosaur. Sorry, dinosaur. It was out of curiosity. And yeah, we can just, uh, oop, sorry, take all the raw meat there. But now we have to cook the meat. You have an open wound. Med kit or bandages? <sighs> oh, there we go. Just press the left mouse button. So, oops, sorry. No, I don't want to, console. Um, so, medkit applied and everything is all better now. Okay, I guess this is nighttime. Because um, it says sun up in 12 hours, but sun's still not quite down yet. But they didn't bother to give us a little oven. Core, clone chamber, water generator, small generator, small fuel tank. Storing fuel. Storing fuel packs required for power generator. Okay. Requires fuel tank. Okay. So, um, we'll need four electronics, four metal components, and three cables. Okay, we needed... We already built one motor, I think. What else do we need? We need three pipes. Then we can build the reactor core. Oh, well, now it's getting dark. Sort of. Um, we had a flashlight. Let's uh, place a work light. To learn how to rotate things. All right, that's sort of the right idea. It still bothers me that it doesn't acknowledge that I placed the O2 generator. Makes me feel like I've done something wrong with that. I also don't know why I need an O2 generator at all when it's pretty clear I don't need an oxygen supply. Yep. Uh, curiosities abound. But maybe uh, in order to go back to space, which is where I really want to go, I need to build up an oxygen supply? It's possible. Finally, we can build a small generator. We can all also build a clone chamber? Set spawn point. Mm, sort of like EVE Online, where you have clones in order to uh, respawn. Water would be nice. Let's see, one control device, one computer, one motor. Okay, so we do have a small generator now. Let me take away my meta kit and put the small generator in there. And let's say we place the small generator next to the O2. Uh-oh. It doesn't want to place the small generator there? We can't place it on terrain. Okay, well then we have a problem. We need to find somewhere that isn't terrain. Is there something that turns terrain into not terrain in here? Doesn't really do the trick. Chainsaw? Well, maybe I can build a home then. Let's see... Then or five. Alright, let's see if the chainsaw is the thing we want to do. 
here. So we can cut down trees, maybe? Maybe. Ooh. Okay, well, uh, well, that's convenient. Three wood logs. So, yeah, Minecraft. Uh, uh, but we have ammo. It's uh, biofuel. And boy, do we not have much of it. Okay, C templates for exact use. So, we need to process those logs. Wood planks. No, indeed. Uh, well, it says output count 40, but that seems to be for... Oh, well, because it sucked in one. Yeah, so it, we'll, we'll get a lot of wood planks out of these logs. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so now we can start building, I guess. Uh, we've sort of flattened this area. Let's flatten it some more. Now that I understand how to flatten things. Yes, we're going to uh, pave the whole world. Okay, well this is reasonably flat. Now, I've got wood planks, but I guess I need to build a foundation of some kind? Maybe wood planks... I can't use like this, huh? Do we use wood plank Intermediate product? Okay, so wood planks are also an intermediate product. They're not the final thing. How might I have guessed? Okay. Bandages, seaweed snacks, salami. You can get salami. Okay, those are the weapons. Steel blocks. Wood blocks. Oh, here we go. Minecraft again. <laughs> okay, so we turn we return the logs into wood planks and we turn those into the infamous wood blocks. I see. So, I don't know how much I can sustain playing this game, given the amount of time it takes to just build simple components. Cannot place this block on terrain. Wow, we... so that's not how we build a foundation. Alright. There goes that theory. Um... Maybe steel bo blocks? Base starter. Input items, one core. Okay. So core is required for the base starter. Starter block for your base. Can't they just have given us a base starter instead of the core? That would have been simpler. It only requires one core. Just give us a base starter. Right? Right? I mean, why make things more complicated? I don't know if this is the best place to put a base starter, but... We will learn. Create a new base. Okay. I don't know what that does for us exactly. Oh, we can, we can actually attach the wood blocks to it. Alright. Can we, like, make some stairs? Because I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get up there very easily. Okay, well that that's that's enough for now. Let me see. Can we make some stairs or something to get up there? Cuz that's tall. Well, maybe I'll have to raise the terrain to get up to it. All right, terrain raising tool. Well, that works. <laughs> This is my core. Alright, well, let's place some more blocks then, now that I can get up to it. But it looks like I can't place them from up here. No, I don't need to set my stomp, uh, spawn point just yet. Level 2 reached. If you say so. I don't feel like level 2. Let me uh, pick up the work light. I don't know if it's a good idea to build around the core like this, but... So, now, the things that could not be placed before, can they be placed now? Yes, they can. They're all blocks. Okay. Well, 
All right, that is a thing that is placed. And now, can I put a corn sprout in there? Place a food processor to cook and process food items. I'd be glad to. This... I don't know how to interact with this thing. Is its door on the opposite side? No. That's a generator. Well, heck. We have a small generator. I don't know what good it does us. Because our oxygen generator's down here. It'll never give me any other tips now. No resource material because. What is its resource material? Operational time 25 minutes. Well, O2 bottles are definitely the output. I don't know what other input material it needs. I assume it's power. But we weren't able to put the power anywhere except for on our base. And our base has to be all the way up here. Drones are on their way to attack my base? What? Well, let me get my drone ready. What are these drones? Actually, this drone, I have no idea if it can shoot things or not. Maybe I should just arm my gun. Where are these enemy drones? It'd be handy if I could have my gun and a flashlight at the same time, you know, one in each hand, but I guess not. Well, I don't know where these enemy drones are. We need a computer and a motor now. Computer, motor. But what about this food processor? It says I need one. I totally believe I need one. Well, uh, hold on. Let me put the raw meat in here. Well, we can make grilled steak. I don't know. This this constructor apparently can do steak for us too. So maybe I don't need a food processor actually. I'll take steak. I'll take steak for days. Oh, or salami. Oh! Ah! Ah! No! No! I can't see! No! That's not fair! What? What? I was totally... Totally beaten up. I don't know who's beating me up. Run! Run! I can't see who's beating... Oh! There! There! What the heck? I can't shoot. Why can't I shoot? Uh, reload? Fuck. Great. I have to manually reload every time. I'm dead. I don't know. <laughs> Respawn near your death location. Let's, 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 let's continue this. Oh, no! Whoa! Uh, they, they're real serious, but I, I'm totally unarmed. Um, where's my body? At least they could leave me my body with the gun. I think I might need a- oh! Backpack of Tyler Ray's over there. That's not near my respawn Come on! Uh, running, running, running. Okay, that's my backpack. T-axis backpack. I think I'm most interested in getting that and the pistol. And we'll think about the rest later. Mini gun drone. It looked small when it was up there, but it's actually pretty big. It's got metal components, motor, pipe, computer, capacitor, reactor core. Well, that'll save us some time. And it's got some bullets in it, still. Okay, well, let's take the rest of our stuff.
I need I need some steak after that. I probably need another medikit dose, but maybe I'll save that for now. I'm only down to 100 health though. The steak only gives 10 health. Maybe, uh, let me see if I can build more medikits. There's another enemy there. Or is that the dead one? So there's a red marker. Yeah, I think that's just the uh, one that we killed. It really should remove the red marker there. It's not really helpful. I'm really short on templates is the thing. Maybe... Maybe the large constructor can do more things? Full range of templates available. So I guess I need to build a large constructor in order to get the rest of the templates that I would need. Okay, so two computers, two control devices. Well, uh, let's build three control devices then, and then four, three, four, and some extra electronics. Well, at least we had the resources to begin with. Nice of them to pack all that. While this is going on, let me have some more steak. Maybe it's supposed to be down below, but I can't pick it up now. It's just sort of placed and can never be replaced again. Will not grow on terrain. You'll need a highly fertile growing plot. That's what that was supposed to be. Let me try and place a growing plot lower instead of up there. Maybe now we can put the plant on it. Okay. Um, I, I want wheat first. After wheat, tomatoes. It looks like the sprout takes the whole plot. If we try and put tomato here, I don't think it'd work out. Yeah, no empty space. So, yeah. They only gave us two plots even though they gave us all these sprouts. We'll have to build some more plots. I suppose with the advanced construction, advanced constructor we can do that. So in the future I'll have to pick a low place to start my base. Instead of some, uh, something high up so that we can access it easier needs to be underground a bit. We'll have to dig in. Sort of like what we did here. This would have been... If we had extended this a little bit more, we could have put the base here and then it would work out. Okay, well it still wants me to place an O2 generator and do something with it. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. I'll take my fuel pack back, thank you. Well... I don't know if this is going to grow or how quickly it's going to grow into something that I can use. I should probably prepare to start chopping down more stuff. But my chainsaw needs power. My chainsaw needs biofuel and I don't know how to build that. I suppose I'll need the large constructor for that. At least they have the nice map with an uh, icon for where my home is. That's helpful. It's a nice landscape altogether. Ooh, creepy sounds. They apparently warn us about drones, but not wildlife. Mushrooms! Alien Plasma ZR1. Don't mind if I do. Wait, more? No, I guess that's the baby one that uh, stands in and will grow back. Yeah, I hear something growling. Well, I don't know what the alien plasma is, just like I don't know what to do with the cobra leaves. Oh! 
Okay. Um, that's a native, apparently. Got a spear and everything. Totally didn't notice me. Mm, well, I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave him alone for now. Well, I mean, it's got an oxygen atmosphere. It's fairly pleasant. Low gravity. I figure since it's lower gravity, they're probably acclimated to it and therefore not quite as tough as I am. We would hope. I strongly doubt they have a spaceship to rent. Does not look like they're that type. More cobra leaves? So, uh... Maybe the cobra leaves grow back after a day kind of thing? Don't know what the time cycle on those are. Pixie stock bundle. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could move this plot so I could actually use it now. Uh, can I chop? Maybe with, with the drill I can chop it? No, I get the feeling that that's not going to work. I don't want to waste my biofuel trying to get rid of it. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work very well. Okay, daylight. Let's see here. Do we have all the... Well, we need two control devices for a large constructor. That should be done quickly enough. Okay. Hopefully the large constructor will allow us to build all the things that we really need. It's going to take some time to make it. Clone chamber is sort of important. I haven't built that water generator yet. Let's do that. Must be deployed on H2O source. So we'll have to find a water source for it. Yeah. Makes sense. We've got the small fuel tank. Oh, which means we need that for the generator, don't we? Let's go back up to the generator, which had to be placed on this platform. Now, I've, I've wanted a sort of space survival game like this. This is something I've wanted. But I sort of also... I don't know. I think I, I want something in between a number of games. This is leaning more towards the Minecraft side. Okay, different sound. We are in daylight, apparently. So, oh, I needed to get that uh, fuel cell thing from that thing. On the right side, performance-wise, it's smooth. Graphically, it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit older-like. The terrain is nice, but otherwise the graphics are a little bit... Well, I mean, then again, if you're used to Minecraft... Okay, well, that'll block my way. Uh, well, I guess we can put it right on top of here. I don't know if we need to connect the fuel tank to the generator at all. The generator doesn't seem to do access. Well, it's fully fueled. Don't know what it's going to do. Maybe I do need some cables to connect them? I don't know. Let's see. Can always build some more cables. No, it says it's in an intermediate product. So it's not something I'm actually going to use. I suppose they connect together automatically. Uh, does the large constructor have to be placed... I guess it has to be placed up top. Oh, it can be placed adjacent to. Okay, it's here. Fair enough. So we can build a core automatic door, large constructor, light, clone chamber, fuel tank, fuel proce uh, food processor is what we wanted. Though apparently we can get steak without it. Small O2 tank, water generator. Color tool. Yes. 
just in case you want a different color. Stairs! Please! I want stairs. Okay, so um, let's move all of our let's move all of our components into that. I want all of my inventory moved. So basically this constructor we'll never use again, right? I mean, uh, well, I guess we could do things in parallel and uh, build two things at once. We might need to. Okay, so now stairs. Required metal plates. Oh, we actually have, when we get ore, we actually need to turn it into ingots. We actually got the in ingots already, but that's another another step. Oh, uh, metal plates don't require those. Constructor is on. Why is it not constructing? Hmm. All right, well, this isn't constructing. Well, oh, I was able to remove stuff. That's refreshing. If I very quickly press get uh, the right mouse button, it seems to get rid of it. But yeah, this constructor is not working. Okay, well, I think that does it for me. I've played this for an hour. This is as far as I've gotten. I assume we can build spacecraft and leave this place. That would be sort of essential. And I think that's that is part of the plan. It would be very interesting. Well, I don't know. I'm still of two minds about it, frankly. We'll see. Maybe I'll play it some more and try and decide, but I have definitely not made up my mind. Alright, well... I will leave it here after having explored only a small patch of ground on what I'm sure is a very vast planet and, and you know, a substantial galaxy. But uh, I'll leave it here and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.